So in TanStack Router, there is a very important hook that I think you should be aware about, and it is called Use Router State. So if you want to add some functionality, for example, like changing if a link is highlighted based on the URL that you're at, and you need your React components to be reactive towards that state, you should be using Use Router State. So let's just go ahead and log out what Router State has on it. And you'll see here, I am listening for the location on the router state to know if I've transitioned from one route to the other. Because, for example, I have this logic to show the footer only if we're not on the learn page. So like if I go back over here to this course platform, let me go here, you'll notice that there's no footer at the bottom, but any other route I go to, the footer pops up, okay? So you'll see this functionality once in a while where like certain routes, you need to like show something or maybe you wanna change the header based on what subpath you are. And it's nice because it's very easy to do with this use router state hook. Now looking at the console log, like I talked about, there's a bunch of stuff on here that you could potentially use. One of them is location, which gives you the path and the href of what the user is currently on. There's also is loading. So I'm gonna do something really hacky just to demonstrate like what this is doing. So I'm gonna say router state dot status, and we can check to see if it is pending or if it's idle. I'm gonna go ahead and just do pending. And if it is pending, I'm gonna show a loader. So let's do that. And when the page first loads, you will see that blue bar kind of pop up as we're navigating through different pages, which is pretty nice. And if you wanted to basically, you know, attach that to the top of your page, I could say absolute top of zero maybe. Um, and then also just give it like a really small height of one. Let's see if now we see that blue bar pop up. Yeah, my header is at 50, so I need to make it 100. Okay, so now as I uh, navigate between pages, you'll see that loader pop up real quick. Let's try a width of full, and that should make it be a full width thing. Okay, working pretty good. Now, second thing I should do is I'm gonna get rid of the loading so that it just kind of shows up. And now we just need to add like a CSS transition to this so like it slowly goes across the whole page. Okay, so you get the point. I'm not trying to make this perfect. I just wanted to demo with it. If you do want a top loader, I think there's a way you could probably hook in in progress to TanStack Start and have it display a top loader, which maybe I'll make a video if I get through there. But some other things on the router, again, is the location. So as you're like navigating between different URLs, I have found that using location.pathname is very important. Now, when it comes to the top navigation, you may think that I'm doing something similar to have these be highlighted. But there's actually something built into the link component, which I'll kind of talk about as well, called active props. So this is like built in. Whenever you go to a URL that matches this, this is going to apply this class automatically to this link. Okay, so for example, the home page, when I click home, it's matching the check that the URL matches it. So it just makes it green. Pricing, it checks to make sure that the URL is purchased and then it'll add this active prop here. And then also when I go to an actual like learn slash segment ID, you will see that it also highlights this. I click on this and then you'll see that it highlights screen. Now I did notice that there's a bug. So like if I were to click over here, notice that this is no longer active, but technically I want to keep this active. So I think I could fix this by just simply adding in a const router state like I talked about. You guys can correct me uh, in the comments if you think there's a better way I can do this. But for this particular link, I want all these to actually stay highlighted even though I'm navigating to different course segments. So I'm actually gonna go over here and I'm gonna change this and say if the router state dot location dot path name dot starts with slash learn, then I wanna go ahead and just like display this. There we go. So it should become green then no matter what I click over here on the left. Okay, so again, I just wanted to kind of point out that if you want to gain access to the underlying state of the router in TanStack Router, this is how you can kind of do it. Uh, last thing I want to point out, which kind of caught me up a little bit, there's also a router object. So if you say use router, go ahead and import that. If you do router.state, you'll notice that it has like a lot of the same things that were on the use router state hook. So for example, location, dot path name. This exists on this use router, but this is not reactive. So if you try to use it in a component and you're clicking around, your components will not re-render if you use this one. Okay, so just keep that in mind that it's in the docs that explains if you need like a reactive thing, you should probably use use router state, but I figured I might as well let you all know. Anyway, hopefully you learned something new watching this video. I do have a Discord channel you guys are welcome to join. The link is in the description below if you want to find a place to kind of talk to me or just other developers, ask questions, get some help. Discord's there for that reason. I guess have a good day and happy coding.